never forgive Lucy. Now drop it. Grandmother. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. Oh, it's so good to see you smiling. Well, I heard you had a good checkup this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smiling, too. Oh, and I'm so happy, honey. I'm so happy that my girl is not languishing in police custody. <laughs> I prefer to think of it as being held for questioning. But... Okay, whatever, whatever. Just so long <laughs> as you promise me that you have... You... Moving on from this sideline and smuggling. Uh, well, yes, it's true. That chapter of my life is over. And I can never thank you enough for helping me. Thank you so much. All's well that ends well. No, I don't know. I'm not sure that it has ended well. My father still won't talk to me. Oh, honey, what's wrong with that? Who wants to hear Craig drone on and on anyway? Well, he'll never forgive me for going behind his back and siding with Dusty. Sweetheart, you can have a full, rich life without Craig Montgomery. Some people would say this is something to celebrate. No, not me. I miss Johnny. And as much as I hate to admit it, I miss my father too. I mean, you should have nothing for him but contempt. But you can't choose your parents. I was born loving him, and I always will. Honey. I think you should find someone more deserving of your love. Oh, God, please. <laughs> Another lecture about how I need a man. Yeah, you do. Anyone can see it. No, it's not true. I have a very busy life. And, and if you got a nice man, a man who really loved you and put you before everything else, and maybe even if you had a little Johnny of your own, oh, my heavens, there would be no need to reconcile with your dear old dad. Thank you for the pep talk. Yeah. I should go sign out. <laughs> I gotta go, too. Okay. Oh, uh, if you need a shoulder, you got me. And just start looking for love where you can get it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Dusty, hi. Just the man I wanted to run into. If it's about the next board meeting, I'll email you the agenda. No, it's not about business. It's personal. It's about Lucy. I don't have time to. Oh, that. please. Please, make time. Lucy's in trouble. I thought she just got out of trouble. Now, I don't mean that kind of legal trouble. She's in emotional trouble. Please, come. I'm, I'm very worried about her. Well, don't be. She's stronger than you think. Well, right now, she is desperate. Desperate for her father to forgive her. Now, I think that's one hell of a bad mistake, and I'm sure that you agree with me. No comment. <laughs> I mean, I toss you a piece of red meat with Craig's name on it, and you don't snap it up. What's the matter? You okay? I'm fine. All right. Well, Lucy is very vulnerable, and she needs someone to persuade her to forget about her father. I'm the not the right person for the job. I'm not. I don't want to deal with Craig anymore. Since when do you back away from a good fight? Well, I'm trying to work out visitation rights with my son. Oh, darling, are they expecting snow in hell? As long as I can see my son. Look, I don't want to lose you as an ally. And I don't want Lucy to lose you either. Lucy wants to see my son happy, that's all I know. Your son, Johnny, is too little to know that his father is evil. Poor Lucy, she has delusions that father knows best. Come on, do we want her? Do we want her to have her heart broken? If you think again? I have influence over Lucy's decision making, you're wrong. No, of course you have influence. She respects you. If she listened to me, Craig would be in jail where he belongs. Nuh uh. No. She took responsibility because that was her conscience. If she'd followed her heart, she would have sided with you because she still likes you. I don't think so. That ended a long time ago. Oh, yeah? You really believe that? If you do, you're a blind fool. Is this 
really what you want? Yeah. Yeah, my plane's leaving soon, but I just couldn't live without saying goodbye to Johnny. Thank you. Sweetie, I'm gonna have to go away for just a little while. But I promise you that I will write to you and I will send you pictures. Will you write to me? And send me drawings to put up in my room? Will you ever come back? Oh, yeah. Of course I'm gonna come back. But I tell you what, in the meantime, I will set up a webcam to put on my laptop so that when we talk, we can see each other sometimes. And I'll tell you stories and, um, and I'll send you pictures of real lions. Do you like that? I want to go with you. Maybe someday our dad will let you come and visit me when you're old enough. And I promise you that I'll come back to visit you. But you need to stay here right now. I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'll miss you, Lily. Oh, babe, I'll miss you too. Doris is going to take you back to school, and I want you to promise me that you will study hard so that you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. And I love you. I love you. Go ahead. <clears throat> you. you promise me, too, to come back? Yeah. Yeah, I promise. Is this really, really? Really, what you want, East Africa? Uh, yeah, yes it is. And my plane is gonna leave soon, so I should really go. Oh, Thank honey, you. honey, honey. Honey. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Bye. Lucy? Lucy! Hey, Craig. I think you're too late here. They, they said that she left. Yeah, she might need to come back for something. You wouldn't count on it. She's not answering. I need to find out where she's going. Looking for Lucy? You know where she went? She's going back to Africa. She wants to start a new life. She doesn't have to go to Africa to do that. No. She feels like this isn't the right place for her right now. What are you saying? That I chased her away? I don't have to say it. You just did.